Piava, do you eat your pizza with a knife and fork or with your hands? I actually use chopsticks to eat my pizza. Cody, how you doing? Uh, feeling a bit of a time crunch. Where's your pizza? Hiding in the oven. I just, Hiding in the oven? I just topped it. What's on your pizza? Uh, blue cheese, uh, cream sauce. I did a little bit of reduced balsamic vinegar and sherry, shallots and thyme. Kind of perfume that sauce. A little bit of brie cheese on top, caramelized fennel. Right, good luck. Thank you, chef. Jennifer. Yes, chef. How are you doing? I'm excited for this one. It's time for me to redeem myself. Why do you feel you have to redeem yourself? I keep getting pulled off because they think I'm the weakest link. It's time for me to tell them, guess what? I'm not as weak as you think I am. So what kind of pizza are you making? Peach, some, um, Pancettas for some saltiness, and then uh, fresh mint and basil. So is that a dessert type pizza? It sort of straddles between? It straddles between. The key is to find that right balance, right? Exactly. You think you can pull that off? I can pull that off. Quasi right now is trying to cook an egg on top of his pizza using every second possible. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands up! Smells like pizza in here. You had 60 minutes to create a MasterChef-worthy artisan pizza. There are three pizzas that we can't wait to take a closer look at. The first home cooked, we like to call up, made a pizza that showed both finesse and craftsmanship. They better try this pizza. It looks awesome! Please come up. David. Come on, David. All right, Dave. I call it the fungi. It's got a portobello duck cell base, some masataki mushrooms, chantelle mushrooms, enoki mushrooms, and a uh, white balsamic dressed arugula. That crust is lovely and crunchy, with a little chew to the center. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you, chef. You've taken a single ingredient, mushrooms, and made it shine on your wonderful pizza. Nicely done. Thank you, chef. It looks like something that I really want to sink my teeth in. The aruga, perfectly flavored with a little bit of acidity from the balsamic, breaks into the richness of the cheese. I like it. Thank you, chef. The second home cook that we'd like to call up Come on. feels that they have something to prove in this competition. I am positive they're going to call my name. The pizza that we want to see belongs to... Jennifer. I did what I call summer fresh, and it's peaches, pancetta, balsamic glaze, walnuts, and a little bit of basil and mint. The balance, the bacon, cheese, peach. Not only can you cook, you can cook with style. balance of sweet and savory, you managed to make it work. And that is not easy. And if I could give any of you other home cooks a little advice, that would be not to underestimate Jennifer. That is an amazing pizza. Well done. This is the big turning point for me in this competition. Now my competitors can see what I'm really capable of. Thank you. The third home cook on our list used a refined combination of beautiful ingredients. And that home cook was... Come on, come here. Cody. Yeah. This magical creation is me on a pizza. Where are they? Hey, Cody. Chef, I call this pizza the fifth dimension. It has uh, caramelized fennel, sautéed uh, chanterelle and bluefoot mushrooms, beautiful black mission figs, a quail's egg on top, the sauce is a reduction of cream. It's done with a sherry wine and balsamic vinegar gastrique. Essence of unicorn, angel tears. It's also scented with a little bit of thyme and rosemary. Your pizza has rich, bold, earthy flavors to it that are softened by the creaminess 
of the cheese and the sauce and is a killer combination. Thank you, Chef. Flawless. If you continue to cook this way, you will win this, the whole thing.